my stardust melody, the memory of love's refrain. I'm Ben Brown with MoreThanGuitar.com, and in this lesson video, how to play Stardust as sung by Willie Nelson. Download the chart now, and I'll show you the chord changes as they happen in the song. Of course, the studio version has a lot more instruments on it than just guitar. I want to show you an adaptation for solo guitar, so that that way you know the entire song, and if you have a friend who sings or plays guitar, you can make up your own arrangement. Let's start off with that intro. Start off with an A minor chord and play three, two, one, and then play three again, and then we're going to drop this note down, the third string to the first fret, play the same, pick the same pattern, pick up your first finger, so you're playing the third string open, then the D chord, same picking pattern, and then G, C with a G in the bass, and there's your intro. Sometimes I wonder. Now we're going to play a C6. It's kind of a bar chord, but kind of not. Your first finger goes all the way across and plays the fifth string and the third fret, and then your ring finger is going to lay down and play the other four strings. That last note, the high note, being the six. Don't, don't tuck your other fingers underneath, I'm just doing that to get them out of your way. If you need to, you can put your pinky on the stick, so that it makes it easier. Lonely night. It's an F7 chord. I want you to take that first finger over and get a good solid low F on the sixth string, bar across the other ones. The F chord is not the easiest bar chord to play, so if you have a little trouble with bar chords, check the links below for an exercise on how to play bar chords. First finger goes all the way across the first fret, your middle finger is going to play the third string, second fret, and your ring finger is going to play the fifth string, uh, third fret. Dreaming of a song. First finger slides up, plays the G on the third fret, sixth string. Your middle finger is going to play the second string also on the third fret. And now your first finger is going to kind of mute the fifth string so you don't play it. Ring finger goes on the fourth string fourth fret, pinky crowds behind it on the third string fourth fret. If you can, play the high E with the back of your first finger on the second fret. My hand just happens to fit that way. Otherwise, just mute it and play those four notes. To go from G major 7 to the B minor 7 is really easy. All we're going to do is slide our first finger down a fret so it's playing the fifth string on the second fret. The B flat minor 7 is even easier. We're going to take the B minor 7 position, slide it down one fret, and then to the A minor 7. First finger goes in the second string first fret. Middle finger plays the 4th string, 2nd fret. To go from that to the A minor, your ring finger covers the 3rd string on the 2nd fret. When our love was new. I'm going to show you two ways to play a D6. The easy way is to put your middle finger on the 3rd string, 2nd fret, 1st finger hangs, your ring finger on the 1st string, 2nd fret, and play 4 strings. That's not the best voicing for it. A voicing that sounds a lot better is your first finger all the way across the fifth fret, mute the E string with the tip of your finger, play a nice solid D with your first finger, and then your ring finger plays all the other four strings on the seventh fret. Again, you can slide your pinky in there if you need it. To go from there to the D, you can either pick up your pinky, play the sixth string open, or just slide down to an open D. Which makes the next chord easy. We're going to play a D augmented. Move the ring finger over to play the third string and the third fret, and the pinky covers the second string, third fret. I wrote an E in the bass, but that's kind of optional. You don't have to play that. And then a G chord, of course. First finger hangs. 
middle fingers on the fifth string second fret, ring fingers on the sixth string third fret, pinky curls up, plays the first string third fret. Back to the D augmented, back to the G. A9, a real pretty chord. Your first finger goes across the first four strings on the second fret. Your middle finger is going to play the first string third fret, and your ring finger reaches across and plays the third string on the fourth fret. Play five strings. Now my consolation. Move back up here to your D. Slide it up one fret for the E flat. Stardust of a song. Then all I have to do is slide down two frets, play the first string, beside the garden wall, and you're back to the C6. We've already covered the F7. Play an open G, we already covered that. Goes from there to the E. First finger, third string, first fret. Middle finger, fifth string, second fret. In ring finger, fourth string, second fret. Play all six. Move that whole thing over one string to play an A minor. Strum five strings. First finger, for the E augmented, you're going to move your first finger over to the fourth string, first fret. Your ring finger plays the fifth string, third fret. And you're going to play the low four strings. One, two, three, four. Then right back to the A minor. C minor is just like the C, except it's totally different. Your first finger goes all the way across the third fret, play the fifth string. Middle finger plays the second string, fourth fret, one up from your finger. Ring fingers going to play the fourth string, fifth fret, two up from your first finger. And your pinky plays the third string, also on the fifth fret, two up from your first finger. Now the reason I keep saying comparing it to the first finger is this is a minor chord anywhere on the neck. So that's C minor. Dream in vain. Slide down to the F. Oh, look how easy that is. Just move the whole chord pattern over one string and down two frets. Or if you prefer, you can move the whole chord pattern down two frets and over one string. In my heart, G chord always will remain. E7 is really easy, it's just the E with your ring finger left out. My stardust. The A minor 7 is even easier. The E7 just moves over one string. So your first finger is on the second string, first fret. Your middle finger is on the fourth string, second fret. Play five strings. The memory of love's refrain. If you play your G up here, then the C minor is right here. After that, the chords just repeat. After that, the chords just repeat. A couple of suggestions for ad-libbing over the solo. Start with the melody. If you will put your fingers in fifth position, first finger on the fifth fret, sixth, seventh, eighth, like that, then the notes of the melody should lie right under your fingers. on the studio recording is mostly a kind of a brushy snare with the bass hitting on the downbeat. So we're going to sort of emulate that with our strum. Play a C6 chord. Your steady beat is going to be one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And just like usual, you're going to play that steady beat, keep it going in your right hand, and leave out a bunch. is the occasional glissando. Sometimes I wonder what I spent the lonely nights dreaming of a song. All I'm doing is laying the pick on that first the root string and then just kind of dragging it slowly down the put a little bit more weight behind the pick just let it bounce from one string to the other. Try it slow.
Now try to put it in with a steady beat. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Nothing to it. Don't forget to check the area below the video. There are links to other songs you might like to learn as well as a play along video. And below that there's a big gray box. I went through this really quickly. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask questions. I'm Ben Brown with MoreThanGuitar.com and this has been How to Play Stardust as performed by Willie Nelson, especially for Joni. Thank you very much for watching. My Stardust Melody